it just felt right. There's a lot of things that you try and it's really just for fun. But I just kept wanting to get better at it. And during pottery, I get to just zone out. I, I don't think about my work. I don't think about anything else within that two and a half hour frame. from Day by Day Pottery and I'm a full-time potter. I'm a very friendly person. <laughs> what got me into pottery? I think I wanted to find a new hobby in 2018 and I found um, a pottery studio near my workplace and I thought like okay let's try this out and what was initially a four-week commitment right turned into like a one-year like back-to-back -back courses because I just couldn't stop. So then, here I am now. I'm a full-time potter now. I definitely remember the first pot I made. It looks like crap. <laughs> My first ever pot made at Vest Studio is this very wonky looking. I don't know what it is. La. There's like some bubbling on top also. Wow, it's gross. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... For keep sake, oh, I will never like throw it away. Day by day, I would say it really started at the end of 2019. And it was like really bare bricks. Like I didn't have anything. I didn't have a website. I didn't have my branding. I just knew that this is what I want to be known as. Day by day pottery. Did I have a plan? And did I have a time frame? Yes, I did. I gave myself a year. If I don't make it, then I'll just go back to work. Lah. I will really just go back to the whole corporate setup. And um, after having the support from my husband, honestly, I was a bit shocked because I think having a partner to do craft as like a full-time job, it may also mean that you, you don't know where this will go. Uh, it may not pay, it may not um, be stable. So the fact that he said that he will support me, uh, okay, at least for the, for the first year, <laughs> uh, was really really like a really really sweet gesture la. when did i realize i can do this business full time it's only when uh, i felt like my i was financially more stable uh, i wouldn't say that i'm earning like big bucks people don't know it's a lot of hard work it's true i would say is that the amount of hours i put in i'm in the studio at least i'll mention nine to ten hours a day and you need to put in the hours to get better. You, yeah, you really just need to, to work hard and just keep, keep at it. For those people out there who are thinking about pursuing their dreams, I say why not, but go for it only if you are not uh, being a liability to people around you. So for example, if you might need to have stable income to maybe contribute to your parents, then maybe you might have to hold it off a little bit. I wish I started pottery earlier on, um, but yet at that point of time, I also knew I couldn't afford it. So that's why I waited until I, I, I could, and then I started learning and taking up like a more expensive hobby. The journey as a full-time potter has been great. <laughs> um, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. It's definitely tough. Like it's a lot tougher at the start because you don't know whether what you're doing is, is right. You don't know whether um, uh, you should even be doing this. You will have a lot of people telling you like, are you sure? But then you just keep trying. I think my journey has been um, great because I not only have grown as a potter, but I can confidently say I've grown as a person. Yeah, I feel like I'm more patient and um, I'm not averse to failures as I maybe might have been previously. Hi, I'm Daisy from Day by Day Pottery. Thank you for watching Dream Makers. I hope my story has inspired you to pursue your passion.